Humanity has never undertaken anything like sending humans to another planet. So how do humans get ready to go to Mars, or how do they survive this mission? Now, last month, we launched a new spacecraft as part of a re-energized space program that will send American astronauts to Mars. And in two months, to prepare us for those missions, Scott Kelly will begin a year-long stay in space. So good luck, Captain. We're proud of you. An American astronaut is hours away from beginning his one-year mission on board the International Space Station. While Scott is in space, his twin brother, former shuttle commander Mark Kelly, will stay on Earth. The brothers' perfect subjects to study. The trip to Mars is a long trip, seven months. And so we have to understand what does it mean for an astronaut to be in orbit for that amount of time. Pretty much any system in the body you can think of is affected from spaceflight. The cardiovascular system is affected. The muscular system is affected. The immune system is affected. Lots of things can go wrong the longer you spend in space. Frankly, we don't have very much data about exactly what 12 months is going to do to Scott's body. It's an unknown, and you're basically allowing yourself to be an experiment. It could cost him his life. This mission could cost him his life. We are ready for the launch. Copy. We are ready for the launch. I'm a test pilot, so I think it's important to, to push the envelope. Crew waving goodbye one last time before they load it in. The risk factor of this, which is high, makes it even more interesting. The engine's igniting. Ramping up. And liftoff. The year in space starts now. Kelly, Corniento, and Padaka on their way towards the International Space Station. Going to Mars. Not only will people become invested in the safety and well-being of the explorers, but also there's that drama, that sense of suspense as to whether or not they can survive on a world that they were not made for. <laughs> 